Boris Johnson and Rishi Sunak have U-turned and will not take part in a daily contact testing pilot after being contacted by NHS Test and Trace after coming in contact with someone who has tested positive for COVID-19. Boris Johnson will instead self-isolate at Chequers, Downing Street said. A Downing Street spokesperson said the Prime Minister will continue to conduct meetings with ministers remotely. The Chancellor will also isolate elsewhere and added on Twitter. Whilst the test and trace pilot is fairly restrictive, allowing only essential government business, I recognise that even the sense that the rules aren't the same for everyone is wrong. To that end, it'll be self-isolating as normal and not taking part in the pilot. The announcement follows the disclosure on Saturday that Health Secretary Sajid Javid had been confirmed as testing positive for COVID-19. The Express understands the Prime Minister had a lengthy meeting with Mr Javid at No. 10 on Friday. The initial news that both politicians had avoided the requirement to quarantine angered politicians from across Westminster forcing the climb down from No. 10. Opposition politicians claimed the move risked undermining the government's messaging on self-isolation at a critical point in the pandemic. The decision means the Prime Minister will now spend so-called Freedom Day on Monday when most lockdown restrictions end in England confined to his official country residence. Labour Party leader Sir Keir Starmer said, This Conservative government is in chaos. Boris Johnson and Rishi Sunak have been busted yet again for thinking the rules that we are all following don't apply to them. The public have done so much to stick to the rules. At a time when we need to maintain confidence in self-isolation, parents, workers and businesses will be wondering what on earth is going on in Downing Street. The way the Prime Minister conducts himself creates chaos, makes for bad government and has deadly consequences for the British public. Yet again the Conservatives fixed the rules to benefit themselves and only backtracked when they were found out. They robbed the bank, got caught and have now offered to give the money back. SNP Westminster leader Ian Blackford tweeted, It seems Boris Johnson and Rishi Sunak are now going to be self-isolating. The strength of the backlash seems to have resulted in a climb down. Such poor judgment that events have unfolded the way they have this morning. We are still in the situation of the virus rising sharply. It came as one scientist involved in advising the government warned that new cases could reach 200,000 a day before the current wave of the virus peaked. Professor Neil Ferguson, whose modelling was instrumental in the government's decision to order the first lockdown in March 2020, said it was inevitable they would at least reach 100,000 a day after Freedom Day goes ahead tomorrow.